Hi, I'm Annette with English Gardens Royal Oak. Here is my gar quick gardening tip. Know when and how to prune your hydrangeas will keep them looking beautiful year after year. Start with the right tools. Bypass pruning shears, loppers, folding saw, and gloves. Each hydrangea variety requires something different. So it is important to know the variety growing in your garden. Big leaf, oak leaf, mountain, and climbing hydrangeas bloom on old wood. Pruning these varieties will prevent them from blooming in the spring. It will cut off their blooms. Only prune if you are removing dead or diseased stems. This is hydrangea big leaf called Bloomstruck. We're going to cut a third of the branch off. Make a bypass with a bypass pruner. We're looking in here for any kind of cross branching, dead branches, etc. We'll cut those off. If you have a newer variety of big leaf and mountain like Let's Dance or Tough Stuff, they will rebloom on both old and new wood. Pruning these for size and shape will not affect blooming. Smooth and panicle hydrangeas bloom on new wood. Pruning these varieties in early spring will help them bloom better. It is an arborescent smooth leaf hydrangea. It'll be about three to four foot tall in your garden right now unless it's a new plant that you buy from the nursery. We're going to prune it to about 14 or 15 inches. We're gonna trim any branches that have nothing on it or crossing. Start pruning your hydrangeas in the spring just as new growth begins. Remove about one third of the height of each stem to encourage growth. With these tips, you'll have your hydrangeas blooming beautifully year after year. This is Annette with English Gardens, helping make your life beautiful by making gardening easier.